Alright guys, how you doing? And welcome back to GTA Online. Now today, we're continuing the line of cars from the brand new Doomsday Heist DLC. And there is a lot more to talk about in terms of the number of cars now because I recently just found out there there is 13 more cars that haven't been released yet that are coming into the game very soon. So we're going to talk about that in a little minute. But this is the car that we're going to be doing up today. It is the Ubermac SC1 or Ubermach, I don't know how the hell you pronounce it, but it's essentially a BMW M1 concept. You'll see the pictures that has been floating about in the internet for years. It's the orange one that is heavily, heavily, heavily recognizable by the front, and there's a little bit of IA in there as well, especially around the back. Now, the first thing in order that I want to do is change this color scheme because that's what the car came with. It's pretty ugly, in my opinion, but. I have got one in mind. Since it is two-tone, we're going to go for a blue for the main bit and like a matte black for the sort of outlined areas. So let's go into metallic. Try to think. Will we just pick a just a blue, just like a normal blue? Oh, oh, <laughs> that looks good, man. That look good. That look very good. No, not chrome. What am I doing? I'm trying. To any personal one. <laughs> stupid idea. So, ultra blue. Um, does that add anything to it? A little bit. It does a little bit make it a wee bit more shiny. Uh, look at the shiny, shiny. <laughs> Someone commented about that when I made my video about the Forza DLC saying, it started all professional and then you had to say, look at the shiny, shiny. <laughs> but it is true though, like, when you talk about these developers and everything, but that doesn't look too bad now, does it? I was expecting it to look quite bad, but that looks good. That looks very nice. So we're going to take that right now. And anyway, let's go right back up to the top and see what we can actually do with this thing. Armor, let's slap that on there. The brakes, Those put them on the there too. Out there right now. Some of the hottest brakes out there are right now. I think they should need cooling down then. Fucking Brembo, take a look at them. But anyway, engine upgrades, put them on too. Ooh. She sounds feisty. She sounds very feisty. So that, oh my god, they look really nice on that. Normally, kind of like a Scott. Ooh. <laughs> fucking hell. Talk about a fucking fart cannon. Jesus. Um, I actually really like the look of them circle ones, man. Normally, wouldn't take that style, but it looks good. Now, the front bumpers is basically just going to be splitters, isn't it? No, we're going to be keeping the clean look for this. Secondary, ooh, secondary hood. Um, I don't really know about that one. The carbon detail. I like it the way it is, actually. It looks proper, proper mean and clean. <laughs> there we go. That should be a new saying, man. Hashtag mean and clean. Yeah, I don't know if it already exists, but if it doesn't, then trademark. <laughs> But anyway, how have you guys been? I hope you are enjoying this DLC. I am very glad with your reception of the last video with the DeLorean. I do apologise that it's taken me till Sunday to make this one because, as I said, I've been working. Um, so this is really my only chance to do it. So that does look pretty good though, doesn't it? Secondary extended louvers. <sighs> only if we had it in matte black, man. Only if we had it in matte black. It looks a bit strange, but fuck it, you know what, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it, my friend. I'm going to take it. It's fucking turning Irish here. How you doing? Let's see where we go for... I'll just keep the San Andreas one. That's just the overall more clean thing, but as I was saying, I'm really enjoying this DLC, and it's great to see that Rockstar have listened to us complaining about prices and stuff, because you must admit, some of the cars are actually a little bit cheaper uh, than normal. Now, I think... What will we do? We'll keep the the roof. Hmm, I don't know. I actually like it the way it is without it. That looks nice here. But yeah, the cars are a wee bit noticeably cheaper, which is okay. Uh, I know you get some other ones like the freaking DeLorean, which are like millions upon millions of dollars. But apart from that, these ones are pretty okay. Because uh, this thing, I think it was... I don't really know. I'll put the, I'll put the text up on the screen right now to let you know. Uh, otherwise, say, just in case I am wrong, now the wings, is it all, is it really all of these ones? Oh my god! <laughs> um, looks like we'll be going without a wing today guys because 
you know me, I ain't into that life, I really, really not. Although that one doesn't look too bad when you look at it this side with all the angles and shit, but we're going to keep it nice and clean. Suspension, we actually, have a, yeah, we actually have a suspension option for this one, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh my god. I actually like the look of the street suspension better because you actually get a little bit of gap between the um, the tyre and the blue bit. Mm, I'm not really feeling the sports suspension. We're going to go for that one. This is really, really cool. Really, really cool. But let us know in the comments section what is your favourite car of all the ones that have been released now. so far in the DLC. Mines is obviously going to be the DeLorean, but um, like the non-military slash special ones, I'd probably say this one. I'd probably say this one. I've yet to drive some more. Like the off-road 911 and stuff like that. But there is one that's based on a Ferrari Portofino, I think it is, or like the 812 Superfast. And I'll be doing that very soon because the next couple of months is going to be GTA focused on this channel because Forza, right now in this current state, it's a bit thingy with the DLCs, so I don't really want to support Turn 10 until they make an actual, like, 180. If you know what I mean. So, does this affect... No, it gets rid of the blue line! God damn it! I mean, these are the same wheels I'm pretty sure that are on the Nero in the game, or the Chiron. Mmm, nah, 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 nah. That's a bit of a bummer. A bit of a bummer, but... As I was saying, I'm not going to support Turn 10 until they actually sort their ways, so... If you don't see as much Forza on the channel, guys, then I do apologise, but... With everything going on with this game, Drive it's just approved. breathed life back into it, man. It's just like... Yeah, all the petrol heads out there that were missing stuff with all the aeroplanes. Here you go, have a little bit, have about like 25 cars that are going to be released to you once a week. Fucking amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. So, we're going to go for some blue tyre smoke. And the windows, we shall... we go dark smoke. Mm, we shall go for the, the, the light smoke ones, how about that? So yeah, I am liking the look of this. It's just the rims which I'm kind of annoyed that um, I can't change because I really want that blue look. But what we will do is maybe take... Oh, wait a minute, I didn't realise that I missed something here. Oh no, I got that. I thought it was Defender Louvers. My bad, my bad. But the wheels, we can maybe take a look at the high-end ones, see if there's anything that really suits it. But I highly, highly doubt it. Um, as I say that, that kind of <laughs> that kind of suits it. <laughs> oh man, I speak too soon. I really, really do. Oh, th those were the wheels. That's the kind of wheels that are on the actual concept one. Oh, mommy, mommy, mommy. Shall we go for that and make them black? So I want to do something a little bit different at least, while I'm having the standard wheels. Although they do look really good. Mm. What, what, we'll buy these ones, see what we can do in terms of the colour. What do they look like in black? Oh, you're kidding, man! We can't even do the lip! Oh, no, the, not the lip, the actual alloy itself! Son of a bitch, I just spent money for no fucking reason! Okay, just give me back my stock whims, please. Thank you, thank you very much, there we go. I'll take that. I'll take these ones. These are okay anyway, but I would have ideally liked them ones. Son of a bitch. But anywho, let us know what you make of it in the comment section below, guys. And it is raining. Typical Scottish luck. I mean, comparing to the weather that we've got right now, which is below freezing. So, yeah, it's, I would like to have rain rather than freezing temperatures. So, anywho, let's actually have some fun in this time because... When I was driving it along here to the custom shop, it handles really good. Seriously, it's like a... I'm pretty sure it's all-wheel drive, because the grip from it around some of the corners is freaking amazing. And the looks... <laughs> I'm so glad that I've actually went for this colour scheme, because it looks proper futuristic, man. And I do hope to see BMW actually make an M1 supercar, like a... Or like a homage to it or something, or maybe maybe a new one. I'd love to see BMW make a new supercar. I think they are in talks about doing it, but we don't know what it's going to be called yet or what it's really going to look like, but love to see something replicating this. 
It's very nice. Very nice. So, one thing I've not checked out yet is the interior. Ooh, okay. It's okay. Pretty good. Kind of nice with the McLaren interior a little bit with that sort of start stop button in the center panel, but it looks okay. Looks pretty nice, but. Yeah, just heading on into the city right now. I'm going to try and keep this one as uncut as possible, guys. I know a lot of these just like videos where I talk, especially in GTA, because that's where my channel kind of started with like the custom cars series. And I know a lot of people have been telling me, oh, why don't you do them videos? It's not that I've not been wanting to do them. It's not, it's not that. It's just because GTA hasn't really been delivering many sort of like proper cars in that, man. Because we had like a airplane DLC with hardly any cars. But this one, it is Car Central. Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah, so over the next few months you can expect that. You can definitely expect some chatty videos because I like, I just like talking about what's been going on during the week and you guys like hearing it, which I can't thank you enough for, seriously, because it just lets me get all my thoughts and feelings out uh, and stuff that's happened and just, just let me be me. Seriously, because I don't want to put on a persona or anything like that for YouTube. I just hate people like that that are dead always like, ho oh, ho hey, hey. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, like, I get excited, right? Like, you seen that DeLorean video, but that's my genuine reaction, and have I gone on the wrong way? I'm pretty sure this is the oncoming traffic. I might be wrong. No, I'm not. I'm right. There we go. There we go. No, I'm wrong. That's what I was trying to say. I'm wrong. It's the other way. It's the correct way. God's sake, think Frank, think, but yeah, it's just, just amazing, just amazing you guys, seriously, whoever's, whoever's still watching me after the five years I've been on YouTube, just big select, big select, big salute, English, English, definitely, but overall first impressions on this thing in terms of the looks, as I mentioned, looks incredible, the noise, I'll let you listen to it for a wee second, Sounds a little bit Audi R8 ish. But a little bit of, a little bit of Lambo in there as well. I know it's essentially the same engine in the Hurricane and the R8, but that's the overall vibe I'm getting for this thing. It's very nice. Very, very nice indeed. So we'll take a little cruise up to Polito Bay, I think. I mean we nearly destroyed that with the freaking DeLorean the other day. But I think Sandy Shores and Polito Bay. We'll welcome this thing with open arms. Loving it, but other news that has been happening. Let us talk about the unreleased cars. Now, there is quite a few, as I said, around about 13, and one of them is the Porsche 911 GT2 RS. Now, when you get it in stock form, I do believe that it comes without the wing, but you can tell that it is the GT2 RS, because it's got a more aggressive front. It's essentially a wider and longer Comet which is very nice. Uh, well, speaking of Porsche as well, the Mission E is coming in. The Mission E is coming in this freaking game, man, and it looks sexy. It really does. I mean, it looks as if they just plonked it right out of real life and just stuck it into the game, because it just looks identical. So good, but I'm trying to think of any others. Like a, oh, the Ken Mary. The Ken Mary's coming in, man, like the old, uh, Skyline, that's coming in. It's going to have a mix of a Mazda RX-3 and a Skyline, which is really cool. I believe that's like the third vehicle which is going to be released very soon, so I'm excited to do that up because it's a Japanese import car, man, and they're pretty rare these days in GTA Online, man. It's really good, and not only that, but we get a Z. We get a Z car, man. It is, I believe, the Innis... 190Z, so it's basically based, basically based, um, on the 288-240Z and the Toyota, I think it's the 2000 GT, that's what it looks like at the back, such a cool little car man, if I can find any of these pictures of these cars, and I will put them up on the screen right now, uh, so you guys can see it, because they're really, really cool looking little things, uh, we've got this strange looking race car as well that looks like, I can't remember the guy's name, but the car looks like an Enzo, but for the new age, if you know what I mean, I can't remember the guy's name, I'm pretty sure he was on Drive Tribe a few months ago, but it's, it's Strassen, Strassen something, I don't know, 
It's a, it's a weird name, a really, really weird name. I'm sure you guys know if you're into your motorsports who I am talking about. Uh, but anything else? Oh, yeah, yeah, for BMW fans, right, we not only have this, the E30 is coming. The E30 is coming, boys. Oh, yeah, all we need now is the E46 to come back from GTA 4, and we are done. We are done for the BMW side of my opinion. I love the one from GTA 4. Such a good car. And it's just, I don't know, but like the E30, the one that I've seen, the video I've seen on it is spoilerless, but I really want to see one with the spoiler. But so far, that's all I can really remember, excuse me, in terms of the cars that are coming in very, very soon. So let us know what you think is the best one that I mentioned, guys. I'm really looking forward to the GT2 RS. So sorry about the sudden jump cut there, guys. I got a parcel delivered to my door. I actually just done my Christmas shopping at the weekend there, so I've been listening out for the parcels all day. So like five of them have came already, and I've got two of my earphones in, so I was just wondering what the freaking noise was. So apologies if you could hear that. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to give people their presents here, yes, because this year I've actually got a little bit of money behind me, and the past couple of years I haven't really. So I've only really been relying on YouTube uh, last year for like money wise, but since I've got a job now, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So I can get more people what they want and what I think they would like. Because uh, for my friend Andy, <laughs> mate, you're going to like what I got you. You're going to like what I got you. I'm not going to get away with it, and I know you're watching this, so. You're gonna like it. <laughs> but what was I talking about again, man? I, I completely forgot now. Because that freaking parcel guy. It only takes one. It only takes one to fuck your mind up. But anywho, um, I'm pretty sure it was about the 13 cars that I was. That's been. Yeah, it's been unreleased. Yeah, what's your favourite? What's your favourite I've talked about? Apart from that, let's get back to this one right here the SC1. I don't think people are really covering this as much as they should be because everyone's distracted by like the DeLorean and the the other cars and stuff and they've kind of went like that, you know what, it's just no supercars, let's forget about them for a while. I'm, I'm blooming trying to fight against that because these supercars are really, really good, really, really nice. As I said with the Portofino style one or the 812, that's not too bad, the, the rear end's a bit weird on that one but... We shall make a video on that pretty damn soon. But speaking of Christmas shopping, you guys, you, yeah, you guys get yours done. I can't speak today. Seriously, it's been the Delorio, but the Delorio? What the fuck am I saying? It's fucking Delorean made a deal with Oreos. <laughs> speaking of Oreos, man, well, um, big shout out to Oreos Plays for saying that he was actually for saying that I was actually his favorite YouTuber. Uh, he made a video the other day. It was. His top five favourite YouTubers, Batchy was on there, Jack Septicai was on there, and me at the number one spot, which I am extremely taken back with because never thought anyone would put me above Jack Septicai on the list. It's really, really, it really does, really does hit my fucking heartstrings, man. So big thanks to you, man. I just kind of stopped looking at that freaking sun right now. The sunlight hurts my eyes. Cue the dubstep. No, that sounds like a duck getting strangled. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually a big fan of this car. It is not too bad in the way that it handles. The looks are just what sells me on it. It really is. I mean, if we could keep the the sort of lip around the, the wheels and just make it other rims, then it would be better. It would be a lot better. But handling wise, it's pretty good. Not the best of the bunch, but certainly has a lot of grip and the tyres are pretty fat as well so if you're looking for an interesting style supercar and you don't want it to be like the traditional Centorno or the, the Chiron or anything like that or the Nero I'd definitely take a look at this thing man the price isn't too bad for it so yeah that has been the Ubermac SC1 guys I'm going to round it off here before you can barely see anything in the dark but I like it I do like it, so expect to see another GTA video probably in the middle of the week. I'm recording this on the same day as the DeLorean, so I'm trying to split it out over the course of the next two weeks until I'm off for Christmas. So, yeah, 
there's going to be a lot more GTA videos to come as well, guys. So if you did enjoy it, and a wee like is always appreciated. Also, share it around with your friends as well. And as I said, just, just thank you for just still watching my videos and letting me be me. So yeah, it's my passion. I love doing this. So, yep. Thanks for watching, guys. From me, Mr. Swagdip Raccoon, and the Beamer. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.